Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, JB, and I'm back. And today what I want to show you how to do is how to install Sky Factory 3 from FTB. All right, guys, so starting it off, you're going to first and foremost, you're going to need the uh, Twitch desktop app. It used to be known as like the Cursed Client app, essentially. Twitch now has ownership with uh, Curse, I believe, in it, so they've changed it. But uh, it's simply going to mods.curse.com, okay? And then you can download that. It should pop up in your downloads, and you'll install that like you would install any other program. And then going through, once you get through that, then you're going to get something that looks like this with all these things here. Oh. Uh, and so you're going to want to go to the one that says Minecraft right here. And now to install Sky Factory 3, it's very, very simple. You can either scroll down and search for it, or you can do FTB Presents, and then that'll really narrow it down. And then you come right here and you say Sky Factory 3. And then you say Install, and it's going to download and it's going to install. So now you can see where it's running through. It's downloading Forge. Um, and so right here, now you can see this is where it's going to take a moment right here. Is it's I got 179 mods, so <laughs> that is a lot of mods, guys. Uh, so it's going to take a moment to download and install, depending on internet speed. Um, the biggest thing I want to give tips and tricks to is once that's done, you can essentially play. But the next thing is is your configuration. Okay, so like anything else, you're going to want to go to your configuration, go to Minecraft. Okay. And then this right here is where you get your settings in. So your maximum memory allocation, you recommended. Now, Twitch should default this to 4,096 megabytes. That's going to be 4 gigabytes of RAM. That that I highly recommend for Sky Factory 3, as it is very mod intensive. Um, and so with Java and everything using RAM for Minecraft, um, we recommend 4. That would be... That would be the recommendation. If you can do more, great. You know, uh, exactly right here where it says for HD textures, etc. I mean, you're gonna want you know closer to eight or eight or nine. Uh, I mean, if if you can run that high or at least six, which is probably, yeah. So, uh, there we go, four thousand ninety-six. Um, and so that's you're gonna want to you're gonna want to make sure that's up there. If 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 you can't get into the recommended with your RAM, odds are your your Minecraft will probably not load. So, for instance, while that one's loading, I already have one loaded. So let's just go ahead and say play. And so once it's installed, this is what it'll allow you to do. Uh, so it's going to automatically load your profile for you. And, um, yeah, then you can hit play. And it's as simple as that. Um, if you have enough RAM allocated, it's going to load with no difficulties or no problems. Um, a couple things while this thing is loading is people are usually asking me, um, do I got to have the curse client or the Twitch client to do this? Uh, not necessarily. Um, you could download all the mods individually, but here's the thing. With the client, you get the config files that they set, the achievement books. So, yes, uh, it's highly recommended that you utilize the curse client. The other thing is, is if you have a demo account or you're using a non-purchased uh, Minecraft account, it makes it challenging to use the client as they use like APIs with, with Mojang itself. So I don't know exactly how and I don't recommend using a hacked client or a non-purchased Minecraft client with it. Uh, but those are common issues that people have. Um, is you Yes, you got you to spend a quick $26.95. That's what it cost um, in USD dollars, American dollars. I don't know as far as euros and other currencies what it cost. But it's a one-time purchase just by Minecraft. So I just want to address those couple couple um, installational questions and issues um, with you. But as you can see here, um, it's loading. So we'll go ahead and boot that up. We're at 4 of 7. It does take a while depending on your computer, um, especially your, your installational drive. So whether or not you're using a traditional hard drive or an SSD drive. Um, that can play a huge factor in the loading time uh, for this mod pack. So, uh, But once you get in, it's a lot of fun, guys. It is a lot of fun. Um, highly recommended mod pack to play. Um, it is 1.10.2. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, how you install um, Sky Factory 3. Um, I, I can't, uh, can't tell you guys enough. Um, 
Thank you for watching. I hope if this helped, uh, you consider smashing that like button. And guys, I had a series on my channel as well. If you're interested, be sure to go check that out. And uh, yeah, got various other Minecraft videos on the channel as well. I hope you take a moment to consider subscribing and joining. But uh, let's see if this thing's going to ever load. <laughs> we'll show you the home right there. Feed the Beast, Sky Factory 3. That's how you install it, and this is how you play it. Take care, guys. I'll see you in another one. Goodbye.